Today we're going to answer the age-old question, is Sandhill Crane really as good as people say it is? Is it the ribeye of the sky? We're going to find out today. But today's partner for the video is called Grillaholics. They make all kinds of grilling accessories and things like seasonings and brushes and tongs and tools, tons of stuff. So if you guys want to check out Grillaholics, I'll leave a link down below and the coupon code is Outdoor Limits and that should save you some money over there. So today, I'm, I'm just kind of jumping right into here. I've got some Sandhill Crane. If you guys remember, I went down to Texas back in November and did some crane hunting. It was a lot of fun and I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. It's worth everything getting down there, doing the hunts. It's, it's worth it. You'll find out today. But I'm only cooking up one breast because I'm just going to be eating it today. And I'm going to be using this Grillaholic seasoning. This is the salt, pepper, garlic rub. And um, it smells really good. And I'm sure it's going to taste really good on the crane. So when you're cooking crane, keep it simple. Don't overdo it. There's a lot of people who, like when I was down hunting in Texas, people were wondering kind of how to cook it. And so I did some research and this is what I've found to be the best way to cook Sandhill Crane because it's not like your duck, it's not like your goose. It's actually really, really good. It's very similar to, I would say like a filet uh, of beef. So we're gonna keep it simple here and only use a salt, pepper, garlic rub on it. And we're gonna throw it on the Traeger Ranger, which is heating up outside. I've got it heated to 450 degrees. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So we're gonna go ahead and coat this on here pretty liberally. I'm not sure how much of it's gonna stick on there because I dried it off pretty good. Should stick pretty good on this side. Roll it around, get the sides covered. And boom, there's your prep. So here's another one of those tools from Grillaholics. It's a uh, nylon grill brush. So you don't have to worry about little chunks of metal on uh, your grill grate and getting in your food. I heard that can be actually pretty bad for you if you eat one of those, it can really mess you up. So I'm gonna give this a quick wipe down here. The Traeger is preheated to 450. And take our crane, slap it on right in the middle, hot and fast. Like I said, this Traeger is at 450 degrees. I like using the Ranger for this. It's nice, tight, compact, and it's really good for hot and fast cooking or for like traveling, going somewhere. But um, got the uh, Grillholics meat thermometer here. We're going to set this thing to go off at 128. Yeah, this crane, I'm telling you guys, it is what everybody says it is, but you have to cook it properly. So I'm staying out here and keeping an eye on this temperature so then I don't mess it up. And uh, oh, pellet wise. I'm using a mesquite pellets. I felt like it would be fitting since I shot this crane in Texas. We'll use mesquite, but it's so hot and fast, the smoke's really not gonna make that big a difference. Honestly, I don't know if a pellet grill is necessarily the best choice for the job, but it's probably pretty good, especially this little guy. My, like my big one, it doesn't get near as hot as this little guy. But yeah, we'll keep an eye on the temp here. Got this sweet little Grillaholics thermometer. I'll flip it here in a little bit, get some searing done on the other side of that crane breast, pull it off, we'll slice it up, and I'll show you what it's all about. So I feel like that's a pretty decent time to flip. We've got some tongs. These are, once again, Grillaholics. Like I said, Grillaholics has a bunch of stuff. They're actually not paying me anything to say this stuff, but uh, if you guys do purchase something through my link, I do get some commission off of that. So make sure you use that code if you do want to pick up some grilling stuff. It's looking good. Give it a nice little flip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely could be seared a little bit better than it was, but I think it's still gonna be pretty good. Well there we go. We're up to 10. That little thermometer is pretty handy. Because uh, this little Traeger doesn't have the Wi-Fi capabilities like my big one, so I'm not able to go inside and keep an eye on the temp, but the alarm went off. We got the crane off. Check this out. Oh boy. 
So the important thing to remember is that it does need to rest here for a couple of minutes before we go ahead and slice into it. I'm telling you guys, if I did everything correctly, this will make my eyes roll back in my head. Ducks are good. I love eating ducks. Geese, eh, they're more for the grind pile, but the sandhill crane is the best feathered animal I have ever eaten in my life. It's better than chicken, it's better than turkey. The best. So for all of you guys who are wondering, like, you know, I, it seems like a lot of times people like to upsell their wild game, and saying it's really good when, you know, it's kind of so-so. Sandhill crane, it is so good. It is time for the moment that you have all been waiting for. The sun is in a weird spot, so sorry if I'm dark. Let's cut into this thing. There we go. That's the cross section we were looking for. Beautiful. Perfectly medium rare. We'll slice a few of these things up here and give them a taste test for you guys. It's got just the texture, the consistency, it, it's very beef-like. It's not like any other bird that you would have ever eaten. It's like eating a steak. It's got like a little bit of gamey, at least this one does. The ones that I've cooked before didn't have as much gaminess. This one's got a little bit of gaminess to it, but still. It's like eating, there's not a lot of fat in it, so I can't say it's like eating a ribeye. I'd compare it more to like eating a filet. You know, something with a little bit less fat, but still really tender. And that's what makes this so good is the flavor profile is very beefy and it's very tender just like a filet so I wouldn't say it's the ribeye of the sky it's the filet mignon of the sky so oh it's so good so good hmm that seasoning is really good too good salt pepper garlic you don't need anything else on these things the flavor is so good you don't need to cover it up at all I'm gonna put that down before I hit myself like it just you just pull it apart it just Tender, juicy, delicious. Go get you some. Go find a crane. Go shoot it. Sandhills, legally. I recommend it. I can't believe that's a bird. You could give this to somebody who's never eaten any wild game before, and you could probably trim it around, make it sliced all fancy like like a steak. They would not know it was wild game. I I highly doubt it. The best bird I have ever eaten in my life. I hate to say it, but like if I knew what I was doing when it came to crane hunting and we could hunt cranes close to home, like the, Kansas, you can hunt cranes on the very west side of the state, but east side of the state, you can't. I would pretty much only chase cranes. I would, I would be happy shooting a, a quarter of the number of birds I shoot in a year if they're all cranes, because they, they're the best eating bird I've ever shot. Better than pheasant, better than quail, the best. So hopefully that answers your question and gives you guys a little bit of a quick tip on how to cook them. Hot and fast, you don't need a lot of seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, you're good to go. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm.